Turkey has taken another important step in its naval modernization program with the successful test of a weapon system on a next-generation submarine platform. The test represents a significant milestone in the country's long-term strategy to enhance deterrence, expand maritime capabilities, and strengthen its technological independence. Over the past decade, Turkey has invested heavily in strengthening its navy, primarily through new indigenous technologies and joint development programs. Central to this effort is the Yeni Tipton Azalti Projesi, Yeni Tipton Azalt, Projesi, which aligns with the larger Milgem Initiative, which aims to reduce foreign dependence and establish Turkey as a leading manufacturer of advanced maritime systems. According to an official statement, the latest test focused on the integration and firing of advanced torpedoes and missile systems from the new submarine. These tests typically include live-fire torpedo tests, which confirm launch reliability and precision targeting. Simulated underwater missile launches, which are used to validate compatibility with evolving combat systems. Evaluation of combat management software, much of which has been developed domestically by Turkish defense companies such as Havelson and Aselsan. The, the successful conduct of these trials demonstrates that Turkey is closing the gap with established naval powers in underwater warfare. Naval officers expressed particular satisfaction with the performance of the locally adapted combat management system, which synchronizes sensors, navigation equipment, and weapons to create a unified tactical interface for submarine crews. The latest submarine tested is believed to be part of the race, a fleet based on the German Type 21 for TN design, but significantly modified with Turkish-developed systems. These vessels are equipped with air-independent propulsion technology, which allows for extended underwater endurance. A key advantage in the Mediterranean, Aegean, and Black Sea theaters. One of Turkey's primary ambitions is to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers for critical defense technology. Although the race class submarines incorporate German engineering, most of the electronic components, command systems, periscopes, sonar, and weapons integration modules are domestically produced. A Selsun's suite of sensors and electronic warfare equipment, along with Havelson's command and control software, are examples of Turkish technology companies playing a larger role in submarine development. Tubatuk, the country's leading research council, also contributes to subsystem innovations, including acoustic processing technology and battery. Upgrades designed to extend underwater endurance, integrating these systems into foreign-designed hulls is itself a significant technological challenge. Recent trials demonstrate that Turkey has successfully combined its growing defense industry capabilities with imported platforms, positioning the country for a more ambitious indigenous submarine program in the future. Turkey's push toward an advanced submarine fleet is driven by a complex strategic environment. The Eastern Mediterranean and Aegean Sea are regions of intense geopolitical interest with overlapping maritime claims and competition over natural gas reserves. In the Black Sea, dynamics have shifted further since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, requiring NATO countries like Turkey to maintain a strong and adaptive naval force. Submarines play a crucial role in this environment. Their stealth, endurance, and strike capabilities enable them to conduct intelligence gathering, secure sea lines of communication, and deter adversaries. For Turkey, which borders three critical maritime zones, a robust underwater fleet offers both defensive strength and strategic leverage. Furthermore, as Turkey's participation in NATO maritime operations and international exercises increases, modern submarines expand its capabilities to contribute significantly to the alliance's security. Turkey is integrating its own weapons, such as the domestically developed AKYA heavy torpedo and future submarine-launched cruise missiles, into its new platforms. The AKYA torpedo has undergone extensive testing in recent years and is expected to become the primary armament for Turkish submarines. There is also growing anticipation regarding Turkey's ongoing efforts to develop a vertical launch system for submarines that could one day launch long-range cruise missiles. Such a development would significantly enhance Turkey's capacity for deep strike operations and place it among a select group of countries capable of developing and deploying submarine-launched crews. Missiles, Turkey's broader defense strategy emphasizes strategic autonomy meaning the ability to defend national interests without over-reliance on external suppliers. Experience gained from weapons integration and testing on new submarine platforms builds technical expertise that will directly support future domestic submarine projects. Turkish officials have stated that the country plans to develop a fully domestic submarine by the 2030s, potentially incorporating advanced propulsion systems, enhanced stealth designs, and a fully indigenous command and weapons suite the international community has responded to. Turkey's underwater modernization with a mix of interest and cautious observation. NATO allies have largely supported Turkey's military advancements, particularly as the alliance seeks to counter rising maritime threats. However, some neighboring countries are closely watching developments, particularly given regional disputes. 
Defense analysts argue that Turkey's increased submarine capabilities will undoubtedly affect the naval balance in the eastern Mediterranean. However, they emphasize that these submarines are primarily defensive tools, designed to protect national waters and deter escalation, rather than provoke it. As the new submarine continues to undergo system trials, Turkey is meticulously evaluating all performance metrics, from stealth and propulsion efficiency to weapons response and sonar accuracy. Once fully operational, the vessel will be one of the most technologically advanced in the history of the Turkish Navy. The successful weapons tests highlight a broader narrative. Turkey is entering a phase of accelerated naval modernization, driven by strategic needs, industrial evolution, and a desire for greater geopolitical autonomy. The achievements achieved during these trials underscore the country's increasing capabilities and mark the beginning of a new era in its underwater warfare doctrine. Underwater warfare doctrine.